I'm joined now by the former Northern Ireland secretary and friend of the Middleton family, Sean Woodward. Good evening to you, Sean. Your reaction uh, to this shocking news tonight? Well, I think like everybody across the country, I, I'm deeply saddened to hear that Kate uh, has done what uh, is the most extraordinary broadcast in admitting that she has cancer this evening. I, I think all of us, uh, you're absolutely right, Michelle, we're united in sending her love and to her family best wishes. Um, this is a terrible thing to happen to anyone, to any family. Um, as you've observed, it happens to one in two people eventually in, in the country. But I think, you know, what is really extraordinary tonight is, and I think it's a defining moment inside our royal family. It's a very personal moment too. But it's a defining moment because what Kate has done with her family is to make this announcement. It's not been made on her behalf. She's done it in effectively a broadcast to the nation. Everyone has broadcast it. But the most powerful thing of all was that statement at the end. I think everybody feels love and compassion for her. There's no question about that. But the extraordinary last part of that broadcast where she says, there are other people out there going through this. There is hope. You are not alone. For the Princess of Wales to use the power of her office through the personal statement that she made tonight, I think is going to change things in this country. It's going to change a lot of things about the way we think about cancer, talk about cancer. She shared this terrible diagnosis for herself with everyone. She's asked for privacy, and I hope everyone gives her that. But I have a friend today who was diagnosed with cancer and began her treatment for breast cancer at the Royal Marsden. And that wonderful friend who's been a friend in my life for 30, 40 years has her own journey to make. And I have no doubt that tonight my friend hearing the Princess of Wales say that will have landed in her heart in a very special way as it's doing across the nation. It's truly one of the most extraordinary pieces of video uh, that we could have had tonight. Utterly amazing. Indeed. Um, as you say, and I think we really all echo this sentiment here, that we are just united um, at this moment. And, and also, Sean, I mean, you are a friend of the Middleton family. Uh, you know, I don't think you mind me saying that. Um, and the, the positivity really kind of came through um, on this statement to us from uh, Catherine there, the positivity that the messages that she's sending her children, that she's well, that mummy's going to, you know, essentially get through this, that she's focusing on all of the in important things, the mind, the body, the spirit. Um, and keeping up that positivity is incredibly important, isn't it? You know, this doesn't take away one bit from the importance of all our love and best wishes and well wishes going to Kate. And my goodness, if, if well wishes could be your medicine, Kate has enough medicine in those well wishes across the country tonight to take her to the moon and back. But the extraordinary thing is that she's used this not just for herself. She's used it to help other people. We know that when people are given a terrible diagnosis like cancer, that it is one of the most devastating things they can possibly imagine. But what Kate did tonight was to pick them up and hold her next to them and say, you're not alone. Because when you get a diagnosis like this, you think, why me? You think very much I'm alone. And what Kate has done tonight is to use this to talk to the country. And I think it is truly a remarkable thing to have done. And of course we wish her well, but it also means that I think about her as the future Princess of Wales and future Queen with William as King one day, hopefully not for a long time. But my goodness, if we can see a woman like that using a terrible moment inside her family to want to reach out and help anyone with a diagnosis, anyone told that they have this and to remind them they're not alone you see what an incredible person she has become it's utterly i think breathtaking to see how brilliant and selfless this person has been tonight and you're right michelle in wanting to say let's take this and hope it unites the nation if you can't be united behind this woman tonight 
I don't know what you can unite behind. She's been incredible. And I can tell you that that uh, sentiment really, really is echoed uh, among all of my viewers right now. But for now, uh, Sean Mordwood, thank you very much. For